Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is a tag started by Isabel Style. I was tagged by Cat L. Thank both of you two so much for creating and including me in on this one. I feel like a lot of people have done this tag already, so I tag and invite anyone watching this to do this video because it is very, I think it's very informative and in like how you feel about your collection. And I had a lot of fun putting this list together. So today's video is the items I would rebuy at, um, from my own collection. I think I have, I think I have 10 and I may throw in a couple that I would not repurchase. Stay tuned and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Do you have anything that you would rebuy at today's prices or do you have anything that you absolutely would replace um, that um, you own in your collection currently? Because I am working on kind of like both of those axes um, for this video and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy my picks. Subscribe if you haven't already and let's get started. First up, I've decided that I have a favorite bag in my collection and it's probably not one of the ones that you think. Now I'm going to give you guys a second to guess what is my favorite bag in my collection. And whatever you're guessing I'm sure you're wrong because it's this. This is the Fendi 3 baguette and this one I would repurchase in a heartbeat. Um, what was really cool about this one was that in 2021 when I bought this I got an amazing amazing deal on it right? I bought this on Poshmark for $300. So if the question is, would I rebuy it at that price? Yes, I'll take 10. The market for these is probably more in like the 600 to maybe a thousand range, uh, depending honestly on place where it's being resold. Um, less so about the condition and everything like that, because there just aren't a ton of these out here on the market. I would rebuy it. I would absolutely repurchase it. I think that this is so different and unique. So if you're not familiar with the Fendi 3 Baguette, here she is in all of her glory. I have it in black leather um, with gold hardware. It has a uh, white kind of like enamel um, backing right here, but the clasp opens up right here where these two Fs are by snapping, oh, it's the other way, sorry. Um, by snapping just like this to open it. And that's how the bag opens. And I am obsessed. I'm just obsessed. I think that there is just nothing cooler out there than this bag. This one I would repurchase immediately. Like, if I couldn't find it on my shelf, I would be Googling more because I love it and I just think that it's so incredibly cool. Now this isn't one, very importantly, that I would get in other colors. Like I feel like I don't need to have, I feel like I don't need to have this in a bunch of different colors and sizes, etc. If I were to ever for some reason be without this in my collection, in my wardrobe, you better believe I'd have another one being shipped to me the moment after I discovered that. Now, this one I'm sure is an easy one if you guys know my channel. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this is the Louis Vuitton Robot Clay. Uh, this is one of my favorite pieces that I've ever purchased. This is one of the first items that I actually bought. I don't really use big, big wallets too, too much. I also am not a huge fan of carrying cash, but uh, this is just perfect for a couple of cards, a little bit of cash. So right now I have probably like maybe, maybe seven to 10 cards inside of here and a couple of like Walgreens coupons that are definitely expired. So it's super compact. It fits in even the tiniest of bags for the most part. Um, for anything that's like super, super tiny, I will change out of it into a smaller card holder. Um, but that is only really the case for like a couple of bags in my wardrobe. You guys know I'm not really into small bags like that. Um, but the other great thing is that it has the keychain right here. Now, these are incredibly hard to find. So if for some reason I wasn't able to immediately replace it because it would take time because there just aren't that many out there, um, then I would as an, as an alternative get the Louis Vuitton Recto Verso. Um, I think that it is a pretty good, um, it's not one that I love as much as this, but if I needed to buy a wallet um, in 2023, from the boutique or something new that was pretty readily available, that would be the one I would go for. They may, um, I typically keep my car key on here and um, the ability to hold just a couple of cards and maybe a little bit of cash is really all you need. Slim, compact, um, you can clip it inside of your bag just for organizational purposes um, or clip it on to your keys. So this is one that I would repurchase immediately. 
absolutely me. So this bag is one of my best buys of all time. Uh, this is the Gucci B-Tone in the medium size. Um, most of the ones that you find out there are the smaller one and uh, this size for me is a lot better because I carry my laptop with me to work every single day. So that is why um, this is the size for me. Although the smaller one is very, very cute, I do highly recommend it. I for sure have gotten my money's worth out of this bag. It has been so perfect. Now I do have to tell you that I have an organizer inside of it and it was a little bit difficult for me to find an organizer for it. Um, we just happened to have a perfect one, uh, come in, a perfect organizer come in to work that the, the, um, the owner of the bag was discarding and it fit in here absolutely perfectly. Now I will caveat that to say that without the organizer this bag is completely useless for me because it has no structure at all in the canvas. I wish it did but um, with the I realized about myself a couple of years ago that if it has a top handle and a shoulder strap then I love it and that's all that there is. Completely my style, completely my vibe, like it definitely is Gucci but I think that the metallic overlay kind of makes it just a little bit different, a little bit of something different. This is one I don't hear talk about anymore and I think that is such a shame. Uh, this is the Givenchy Mini Antigona. I've found that I have reached for this bag so much. It's just one that's so easy to reach for. It holds so much inside of it. So when you're going for a small bag, um, you're able to actually fit almost as much as you're as you're able to hold in one of my much larger bags like this one as long as I'm not carrying like a laptop or iPad or anything like that. So one thing one thing that I said about this bag years ago like around the time when I first bought it was that I feel like the lines on it aren't going to be too like offensive. You know what I mean? Like they're not going to be too particular of a specific time. Now this was very hot, very popular in 2014 and, tw or, and 2015, but I didn't get mine until about 2018. So that was years after the hype had subsided. When it comes to super hot, super trendy bags, I, I always recommend waiting out the hype. If you still love the bag after the trend has passed, after the frenzy, then it's something that is going to be a mainstay in your wardrobe and that is absolutely the case for this. The only thing I will say is that for whatever reason like silver hardware is like out right now and I've even kind of fallen into that too myself by mostly wearing gold so I don't know what's going on with that but it does have silver hardware. I don't think that gold hardware necessarily works for this bag in quite the same way but I feel like the hardware on this isn't like so big and massive that I would be totally fine to mix the metals on this. Just because I've been able to use this and it's been so practical with my lifestyle, I've definitely got my money's worth out of it and I don't ever want to be without it. By the way, there are um, there is no shortage of these on the market and the prices have actually come down a little bit because they're not still at that same level of popularity. Um, I saw one the other day for like $1,100 and I just tell you, I cannot recommend this bag enough. Absolutely would repurchase. You guys are probably tired of hearing me gush about this bag, but that's too bad because I think it's perfect. It so suits me and I feel like it's just very, very random. Now this is the Marley bag from Stella McCartney and I, it is in raffia with this kind of like fringe raffia trim on the outside. Um, it has this shorter guitar strap and I just find that this is a bag that I can fit so well into my wardrobe. Um, because I live in a very tropical place, I can carry it year round here. And it is very summery, but typically when things are considered or deemed to be like summery or like resort vacation wear, etc., like they tend to be like really colorful and flowery and things like that. And color just isn't my vibe. This has Rothia, which I love, but it's trimmed in black and like a cognac, like reddish toned brown. And I just find it so simple to incorporate. Like the outfit I'm wearing right now, it's really quickly to show you this bodysuit with black pants. It works, it works perfectly. What could be better than that? I will say that it is a lot smaller than I like. When I'm carrying this bag, it's typically in the daytime. So I'm carrying a sunglass case and a sunglass case is the whole bag as you can see, but don't care. I love the style of this. I would repurchase this in a heartbeat. As a matter of fact, like I'm, they are, they are still available currently at NordstromRack.com for the same price that I paid mine, that, that I bought mine for. Like, don't think that I haven't considered like just buying a second one and stashing it 
in case something horrible happens. I have to admit, I am damn impressed with myself that this was the first bag that I actually bought myself. So this is the Louis Vuitton Belmont. Uh, I bought this, this one in 2015 um, on the pre-loved market. It is Damier Aben, which is a, a, a the print that I prefer from Louis Vuitton the most. It has different uh, different color leather that they normally use. Um, it's more of a like toffee color as opposed to the dark treated kind um, that they do typically have. And uh, this has been a really elegant work bag for me. It's worked great as for travel. And I just think that it's just very chic and put together. At the time, I think I bought this for about 1300 and you can find these on the resale market anywhere from, I would say, maybe 1100 in probably poor condition up to 1800 in better. And it's just one that I have always been able to incorporate into my wardrobe and into my life. That has not been the case for most bags, period, because styles have changed so much in the last, what is that, eight years, nine years? Somehow this is still able to look good and look relevant and look elegant and chic with whatever I'm wearing. Once again, we're going to do the outfit test. This is a regular outfit that I would wear and bam, perfection. I bought this even before I had a laptop, but it fits a laptop perfectly. Depth is good. The size is good. Um, and this is what made me first realize that I am a top handle kind of girl. I did not know that about myself before I bought this bag. And um, yeah, this one, this is a forever bag for me, I have decided, but I would absolutely repurchase this if I had to. Now I know what you're thinking, perhaps this might be a teeny bit premature, but I'm obsessed. Before we get started, this is a Celine Vintage um, box leather bag with the horse and carriage uh, detail right here. You would have seen it in um, my clean with me video. I just love it. I love it. It is so classic. Now there are a lot of styles out there like this. Some of them have like the bigger horse and carriage and for whatever reason, I was, I actually was ready to, to pull the trigger. I had my card in my hand. I was completing checkout on that one. And then I saw this one pop up on the screen and it ended up going with this one. By the way, a couple of days ago, um, I found another one exactly like this. I think there's less of these than there are of the bigger horse and carriage kind. I'll, I'll show you the photo of the, of the one I'm talking about right here. Um, if that is still available, then definitely um, check the links below in the description box. So um, if you guys watch my look for less videos, then you know that I have been an advocate for this bag for so long long for years i've been saying how great of a look for less this is on the hermes constant uh now the celine triumph and a couple of others um, definitely relevant in uh, for today it's like what took me so long i've had my eye on this bag no lie for at least seven years and i'm so happy that i finally have one um it's so amazing so great and i love the size uh the compartments on the inside like still definitely give you enough space to carry um i did mention that the strap on this is not exactly my favorite i wish that this buckle were a little bit more like over to the side because uh this gets caught like in in like on, on my shoulder and in my hair a little bit but nothing i can't handle I think it's perfect. I think it's stunning. I think it's amazing. So classic. It's from the 80s and I am obsessed. Rebuy? Absolutely. Now this one to me is coming as a surprise because I don't know that I would rebuy this. I don't think I would ever sell it, but I just do know that I get so anxious to wear this whenever there is a single storm cloud in the sky and um, because, because of the suede. This is not one that I reach for a ton. I bought this in probably 2017 thereabout. I just feel like I haven't used it as much as I was expecting to considering like this was my holy grail bag. Like when I'm reaching for this bag it has to be, I feel like it has to be such a production. I have to check the weather forecast. I have to like be be weary kind of of where I'm going. And it is definitely on the heavier side. Like I was trying to hold it like this for a little bit and it's heavy. Like this is a heavy, heavy bag um, that doesn't fit a ton, is big and the hardware is silver. And I just don't find myself reaching for a lot of silver. I love this. I still love it aesthetically and it's just, 
everything I could have ever hoped for. I just don't use it as much. Um, back when I first had it, um, I was only carrying an iPad daily and an iPad does fit in here absolutely perfectly. The fact is that like if I'm carrying this, more than likely I'm carrying this too and it doesn't fit. So that's just something I've had to contend with. Um, not very pleased about so I don't know that this would be a repurchase. I'm not saying I wouldn't but I'm probably saying I wouldn't but I love it and it's not going anywhere and I'm I want to carry this today. Let's, let's see if I actually make that happen. I feel like all of my bags fit a certain color palette and this is the color Hey, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think. What in your collection would you repurchase? And what did you think of some of mine? Uh, did anything surprise you? Uh, was anything completely obvious? I feel like a couple were, case in point. I'm very curious to see yours. If you have any suggestions from what you'd like to see from me in the future regarding the resale market, because remember, I work in the business and I see people interact with bags and and reselling, the, reselling their bags every single day. Uh, let me know if there's anything you have questions about. So with that, I'm gonna leave it here and I will see you guys in my next video.